Good boy. Good girl. Hey, what's up, Cody's Roadies? Welcome back to another episode of the Iron Pony Show. I'm your host, Cody Renee Cameron, and I am joined today by two of my favorite little ride dogs, Chopper Cameron and Cheeto Cameron. Oh, we're losing your hat. Word joke malfunction. Today, we are going to talk about a very important motorcycle subject, riding with your dogs. We get questions all the time about what kind of pet carrier I'm using, what kind of eye protection, how do you find hotels and restaurants to go to? Well, today we're gonna answer all of your questions while looking super cute. Let's go. I started riding motorcycles 12 years ago. I got a little Honda Rebel 250. It's like a little mini Harley. And I rode around for a couple months before Cheeto told me that she wanted to start riding with me. So we walked into this little pet shop in Hollywood and found this little guy. It's called Crazy Paws. And if you type that into the internet, it'll pop up for you. And this thing has lasted us the entire time. Cheeto is retired from riding now and Chopper now rides. <laughs> and this thing has been such a lifesaver. You can put it on the front or the back, just depending on what you and your dog like. I like the front when I want to keep a better eye on them. Um, it also depends on your riding position. On this Honda, I'm super straight up, so the front is really cool. I can tell the chopper is really relaxed and comfortable. On my Sportster, I'm a little more leaned over, so he's in a less comfortable position. So when I ride the Harley, I like to have him on the back, and then uh, I think he just enjoys that a little bit more. A lot of people are nervous about taking their dog out on the bike for the first time, but if your dog likes to stick their head out the window and get the wind in their face, being on a motorcycle is like 10 times as fun as that. So now that you've purchased your bag of choice, how are you gonna get your dog in there? Well, we like to use a lot of treat training and positive reinforcement. So you can start by getting the bag out, giving them a treat so they start to associate the bag with good things. Positive reinforcement, treats, come on bubs. Cheeto was my first dog I trained to do this. Chopper is my second and we're no experts, but this is just how I've done it. Sit down, sit down, good boy. Sit down, sit down, good boy. This is our second take, so we've already done this one. So he's probably like, what the heck, mom? A lot of just gentle coaxing, a lot of reassurance, good boy. Kind of just tucking everything in, good boy. And each step along the way, you can give a treat, so. He got in there, you can give a treat. He zipped up, we can now give a treat. Good boy. And it's the same thing with the doggles. Get them out, give them a treat. Put them on, give them a treat. I think a lot of people are really fearful that their dogs aren't gonna like this. And so then they come in with that energy and the dogs can feel that. So it's really important to just be like, this is gonna be awesome. You're gonna love this. I love this. This is so exciting. And they tend to feel the same way. So we got the doggles on, we're gonna give another treat. Oh, you're so cute. And then we're gonna stand up and strap them in. Now you can strap them on the front or the back, but for videoing purposes, I think the front is going to make more sense. Also recommend doing it with a partner if you have one the first time, just because it can be a little tricky buckling in everything yourself. There are three different buckles. You've got over your shoulder one way, over your shoulder the other day, other way. We've done this a million times, so we're really used to this. And then I love that there's a third one. Come back here. Boom. And again, now that we've done that, we're going to give a little treat. It says, hey, good job. We did it. Put our doggles back on and we are ready to go. Hot tip, you wanna put him on as the very last thing, the doggles on as the very last thing before you go because you don't wanna be running around doing a lot of things while they're attached to you. Uh, they do tend to get antsy. I should also add that if your dog hasn't been around motorcycles much, before you do all this, I would definitely turn your motorcycle on, let them get used to the sound, you know, pick them up, sit with them on your lap. There's lots of ways to get your dog acclimated to the sound and the vibrations of the motorcycle before we go to this step. I just assumed that uh, your dog had probably already been around motorcycles, but let's just throw that out there too. Now time for me to get geared up and let's go for a rip, tater chip. Cheeto, 
Here are some awesome resources for motorcycling with your dog. Motorcycling with Fido Facebook group, Bring Fido app for hotels and restaurants that are dog friendly, Crazy Paws backpack brand, and Doggles or Rex Specs for eyewear. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like and subscribe button and comment where we should ride to next. We'll catch you Cody's roadies out in the wild. Let's shift gears and change lives.